There is a new section type in iLabA and Conta ELN for doing parallel chemistry. It's called the CombiChem section, and it's added in the same way as any other section. And then to fill in the chemistry, it works in the same way as the reaction section. So we can double click to open a chemical editor and draw some chemistry. So you just draw the minimum chemistry required to describe the reaction. So here's an aryl halide. And when you add a reactant, then a place is opened here where we can bring in an SD file with a set of of reactants. You can change the name as usual, so we'll make this our bromide. I'll just bring in a few more re reactants in the product which I've uh, drawn earlier. So now I've added the, the rest of the chemistry. So we've got an aryl halide with a boronic acid uh, giving the couple product. You can also add reagents in the usual way. Uh, you can enter the scale of a reaction which works in exactly the same way as the reaction section. So here we have a one millimole scale. So now we'll bring in the sets of reactants. So we'll bring in the aryl our halides and we bring those in as an SD file. So there's a set of three our halides and the quantities are calculated and then we bring in some boronic acids. So here we are with six boronic acids and now we'll enumerate the product. So we just go or click here to generate products. And then we have a choice of doing a combinatorial enumeration, which is the combination of each of the first set with each of the second set. Or you can do a sequential, which is the first of the first set with the first of the second set, second of the first set with the second of the second set, etc. Uh, so here we do a combinatorial enumeration. And then it asks us if we want to do atom mapping, which we, we do. And then that will open um, the chemical editor, uh, ready to do atom mapping. So we're in Simix drawer here, but it works with other editors as well. So you do enough mapping to make the chemistry clear, close the chemical editor, and then um, I love it, I'll come to we'll start to enumerate the products. And here are, is the table of products. We can type in the yields we obtain for each product, and the percentage yield is calculated and uh, we can export all of the products as an SD file if required. You can also write a um, uh, name or the identifier for each product. So this could be CON001, CON002, etc. And of course, all of this chemistry goes into the database and is searchable. So this is really designed for small libraries up to about 50 compounds, mainly for medicinal chemists doing small parallel chemistry sets.